Are we living a wasteful living? Be careful. It can be a trap. Last week, uh, we started a topic on end time obedience. If it is a topic of end time anointing, you would have been very excited. But we started a topic on end time obedience. How should our obedience be towards the end time, especially when Jesus is going to come? And uh, we... we read from matthew 24 the disciples went and asked jesus hey tell us what are the signs of your coming and the signs of the end of the world so he started telling some signs i'm not here to tell the signs i'm tell, going to tell about how our obedience should be and in the luke and in other passages and the apostles especially paul and even peter and then later in the book of revelation we can get a lot of things about the coming or the end of the world that's not my topic now how we should behave how should our obedience be many people are so curious to know about the end times or especially regarding the coming of the lord especially the signs it's a very curious topic for many that's okay with the curiosity but my question is you may know all the signs but if you don't be prepared what's the use of knowing all the signs today's church i think on an average we know what all things will happen before jesus comes but my question is what are we doing about it so last week what did we learn be alert be alert jesus said first thing he said be alert that means do not be aare ningale tettikirudu വഞ്ചിക്കപ്പെടരുത് അല്ലേ അപ്പം എന്ത് ചെയ്യണം ഉണർന്നിരിക്കണം ബി അലേർട്ട് ബി എ വേക്ക് ദെൻ ബി വൈസ് ലാസ്റ്റ് വീക്ക് വി സോ ദ സ്റ്റോറി ഓഫ് ദ ടെൻ വേർജിൻസ് ഓക്കെ ബി വൈസ് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ ടെൻ ഓൺലി ഫൈവ് വി കോൾ ദ വൈസ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദി അതർ ഫൈവ് വാസ് ഫുളിഷ് സോ ടു വിച്ച് സെറ്റ് ഡു വി ബിലോങ് ദ വൈസ് ഓർ ദ ഫുളിഷ് ഓൺ സൺഡേ മോർണിംഗ് എവറി വൺ ഈസ് വൈസ് ബട്ട് ഹൗ ഡു വി ലീവ് ദ റെസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ വീക്ക് ഫുളിഷ് that's what i don't understand okay sunday morning we are all if jesus comes if the bride groom comes now we'll all take up our lamp and <laughs> and now our cups are overflowing with oil now <laughs> now there's a lot of oil on sunday morning but what about the rest of the week okay so be wise so this morning i just want to along, along with it i want to read another verse that is actually luke chapter 21 verse 34 luke chapter 21 verse 34 we all are very familiar with the previous verse 33 heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away hallelujah aagashavum bhoomiyum olinju povum ende vajarangalo olinju poge illa oru naal okay adellarku ariya but the next verse says be on guard yeah please note that verse be on guard some version say and i says be careful or your hearts will be weighed down with carousing drunkenness and the anxieties of life and that day will close on you suddenly like a trap my version says be on guard so that your hearts will not be weighted down with dissipation and drunkenness and the worries of life and that day will not come on you suddenly like a trap what does this mean i am not going to explain anything on it because a plain reading will get you the meaning just a plain reading that day it will come we all believe that that day will come but there is a possibility that day may come suddenly and that suddenly coming day 
can be a trap you will be trapped when a rat is in a trap that rat all the vision that the rat had all the dreams that the rat had all the <laughs> programs that the rat had charted in his own whole, whole life now it is in a trap someone rightly said do you think a rat or mice alle mice or rat one ano rat rendu renda alle vittay kam rat eli 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 pattay remember when a rat walks to a trap and in english endo parna eli pattay thana rat trap okay do you think the rat will walk into that trap with a bad intention <laughs> all the rats walk into the trap with the good intention of taking that whatever food stuff is there to eat innocently the the rat walks in but the moment he walks in and touches that thing suddenly on the back the door is closed and trapped so a rat never walks into the trap sometimes we too we say very innocently sometimes we walk that's what we say but again trap is a trap once you are trapped there is no way out so there are three things here jesus is telling three things what are the three things your hearts will be weighted down with dissipation that's not a common word can come and get a new word another word dissipation constipation everybody knows but dissipation dissipation and the other word niv is also not a common word wasteful ah yeah here minu comes with a good word wasteful living wasteful living adu malayalathil engana nariya adi bhakshanathal wasteful eating all the sugging and the somatoing honestly speaking is a wasteful eating and when you are wastefully eating it's a wasteful living aavashyam illatha ellam vaanchi kaliga aavashyam illatha ka vaangi kootuga amazon purchases online how many of you have really purchased something in amazon which was very necessary and urgent yeah now the truth comes out the way you look at me and your strange smile tells the truth wasteful buying wasteful shopping wasteful eating and wasteful clothing not mine okay <laughs> lot of wasteful living bible is very clear on our living malayalam aanu enikku vannondirikku unnanum udukkanum undangi adu madhi how is it in english if you have food to eat and if you are close to where be content content triptiyodu koodiya bhakti valiya aadayam aavu godliness with contentment this great gain godliness with contentment that means be happy with what you have did we have plen of money in the past if you check your life when you started when you were a student when you started your career when you got married did you have everything what you wanted thirty years back when i went to yvam chennai i didn't have 1200 rupees for my fees 2400 was the course fees and half you had to pay in the beginning i didn't have 100 1200 rupees with me and the small church which was i was part of that church took an offering we'll give it to sam so they took an offering and gave me 1200 rupees for the fees and the train fare to random chennai madras mail a second class ticket and some 100 rupees and with that 100 rupees i gave 50 rupees back to my family my wife and my father at that time and said keep it for the expenses 
I am going. That was how we all started. Okay, why I am telling it for the, first of all, for the glory of God, because I am so thankful. Number two, to encourage you. But today the problem is, it's not 1200 rupees. Almost we have everything. But my question is, are we living a wasteful living? Be careful this morning. It can be a trap. Someone rightly said, having money with you doesn't justify for all what you buy. Just because we have money, you don't have to order everything. Just because we can afford, you don't have to eat everything in the restaurant. <laughs> don't order everything. Don't put everything in the wish list in Amazon. Because you have the card balance or the GPA or whatever. Be careful. It can be a trap. So wasteful living and then drunkenness. Any nice word for that? Drunkenness, what does that mean? Can I put it this way? Addiction? Drunkenness immediately gives an idea about taking alcohol or maybe drugs now. But is it only alcohol and drugs? Whatever you are addicted to, am I right? Today you may not be addicted to alcohol or maybe a drugs, but definitely we are, all of us are addicted to something or anything. Can you check? to what are you addicted to? Can you tell of some of your addictions? Laddu, all, all sugar, all sweet items, okay. Then, all meat items, okay. All Lulu, no. What, is, what about your mobile phone? Facebook? Instagram? Children, Insta? No addiction? I can see you all. I check what all you post. Even though you unfriend me and still somewhere I will, I'll sneak in and see all what you are posting. And sometimes they tag all their friends and by mistake they tag me also. <laughs> thinking I am their friend. Thank you for making your friend. But don't tag me into ugly things, okay? I have a reputation at least. <laughs> don't spoil it. Whatever, to whatever you are addicted, it can be a trap. Check your lives. I'm not wanting to make you guilty this morning, but I'm telling the truth that Jesus said, whatever addiction you have can be a trap and it can affect on that day. Okay, the third thing is anxieties of life. Anxieties of life. Any other English? Worries, am I right? Do not be cares. Yeah. Anxieties, cares, worries. Someone rightly said, Have you ever seen a worried bird? Okay, Malayalis, we know a lot of crows, kaka. Have you seen a kaka sitting like this? You are yet to see a worried bird somewhere. So if God feeds the birds, how much more will he feed you and me? And why are we worried? Why are we worried? That's why the apostle says, hey, cast all your worries, burdens onto the Lord. Leave it there. So whatever worries you, the cares, the burdens, whatever, that can also be a trap. So this morning, three things. Wasteful living, I got that right word, good. Addictions and worries and cares. Maybe of your future, maybe of your health, maybe of your children, maybe of your career profession, maybe of your ministry. We ministers have a lot of worry about our ministry. That's why in Tamil Nadu, if you meet anyone, okay, how are you? Uh, praise the Lord, brother. Please pray for ministry. For my ministry. Everyone will say, please pray for my ministry. <laughs> so, we are all worried about our ministry. What will happen to the ministry? What will happen to the church? What will happen to what I am doing? But that can be again a trap. 
Okay? I am not an expert in eschatology, <laughs> the things of the end times. But this is plain, Jesus says, three things. That can be a trap. That day may come suddenly and you will be trapped. So, what is the obedience part of it now? Be careful that you are not living a wasteful living. Be careful that you are not addicted to anything. Be careful that you don't worry and be not anxious about everything. Do not be anxious of anything. Instead, let your supplications and prayers be brought to God so that he will answer your prayer by how? Giving his peace. There will be a peace which will come and cover my mind and heart and everything so that even if I don't get the answer for what I prayed, that's okay. Maybe that was the answer. Maybe you didn't get what you prayed for, but God gave the peace first. So now the problem is, do you want the peace of God or you exactly what you prayed for? <laughs> All of us have a lot of unanswered prayer. But thank God, the peace of God was made available to me. So sometimes I don't even remember what I prayed for. <laughs> but the peace of God was there. So this morning you may not get everything what you prayed for, but you will get the peace. So that, that peace will help you not to be anxious of anything. The very thing that you are anxious of, that you are worried of, maybe you are very much cares that you have. Leave it. Leave it and say, Lord, I give my worries to you. I give my cares to you. I give my, even my burdens to you. Lord, give me the peace so that I will have the peace. Are you worried about your children's future? Maybe your children's marriage? Leave it to the Lord. Leave it to the Lord. Leave it to the Lord. Can we pray? How many will say, Lord, yes, thank you for correcting me. These three things. Lord, I have my own addictions. Yes, I'm not very careful in the way I live. Lord, I'm sorry that uh, sometimes I'm so tensed that I carry a load of burdens with me. And sometimes I cannot trust you by putting it in your feet so that you will take care of it. So this morning, Lord, I'll be careful in these three areas where it can be a trap on that day. Can you all pray together? Why don't you, all of you open your mouth and say a prayer to the Lord from what we heard this morning from the word of God. Remember, this is not any apostle talking. This was Jesus himself talking. So that means straight from the mouth of Jesus, we heard that be careful. Be careful. Because the word started like this, be on guard. Let's be on guard. I want everyone to pray. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we receive this word from you this morning. Lord, we are sorry. We ask you to forgive us. Because we all have those three areas, Lord, that uh, living, that addiction, and even the worries. Lord, help us to put everything in your feet so that we will be content in everything that we have. And that's the kind of godliness that you expect in us or of us. Holy Spirit, help us to live a life that we will be on our guard, we will be very much alert and awake and wise. And we will be careful with these three areas in our life. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
ഇന്ന് കേട്ട ഈ സന്ദേശം തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അനുഗ്രഹമായിരുന്നു ഞങ്ങൾ വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു ഒരു പക്ഷെ നിങ്ങൾ ഇതുവരെയും ഈ ചാനൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ല എങ്കിൽ ദയവായി ഇപ്പൊ തന്നെ ഒന്ന് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യുക ഈ സന്ദേശം മറ്റു ചിലർ കൂടി ഒന്ന് ഫോർവേഡ് ചെയ്ത് കൊടുക്കുക നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇത് അനുഗ്രഹമായിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും അത് മറ്റുള്ളവർക്കും ഒരു അനുഗ്രഹമായി തീരുവാൻ അത് കാരണമായി തീരും ഗോഡ് ബ്ലസ് യു